Bearing loads. Bearing loads is sometimes more suited for things that would have a bearings or the connecting rod in it. And in this particular case, these bearings are applying a load and a on this connecting rod. So if I come up the bearing and I'm going to be able to select a face. So I pick on a face. It shows me the glyph in which way the glyph is going. I can put a force on here. So let's say I'm putting 5,000 pounds of force on it. But I want to load the bearing in a different direction. So I can come down and use my vector components. So I can come in here and say, oh, I want it to be 5,000 pounds of force down here. And you can see that it's angling that 5,000 pounds of force on an angle. And I'm going to take this one out of there, take, make that to be zero. And you can see it's placing the force here in the positive x direction. I can change that force direction by placing a negative in here. And so now you can see I'm placing a negative x direction in here. And so now that's going to distort the load, pushing it out this way. So, you know, depending on our rotational setups of our bearings and our connecting rods, we might be applying forces differently with a bearing load. So I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see over here, I have created a bearing load. And so it's loaded up on one direction of the bearing. And so uh, we could take a look at that when we do a simulation of how that's going to uh, affect our connecting rod.